Hello guys and yeah uh, today we are going to cover one to many relationship in uh, in Prisma way the Prisma way I'll show you the way of doing one to many relationship and what we are going to do uh, check first the documentation here to showcase that this documentation just flexing on the amazing documentation of Prisma pretty nice really pretty nice man like look at this description they did really a good job in describing about anything regarding the uh, prisma be it the schema the migration the cli the client or anything regarding that amazing amazing so what we are going to cover again one to many relationship so what we'll do first we will update our schema now here we had a user and a book already so now think of it as user has a lot uh, has one to many so he has many books so he could auth be authored with many books but the book itself can have only one author the user could have zero so it could possibly be he has no books but the book, whenever it's created, it needs to have a user. So that's what we need to consider. So one thing we could think of that sentence is, the book will have the foreign key and the user won't have the foreign key, but it will be regarded as a list of books, but those list of books are optional, where it could be uh, from zero to a lot of books. So let's start with the book itself. So what we will be doing first, we will add the foreign key. We'll add the foreign key and we'll name it as author ID, a type of integer. Instead of saying as user, so we'll be specifying as an author ID, which makes more sense instead of naming it as a user ID. The next thing, as we have done in our one-to-one -one relationship with the user and address, what we have to do is the object called user. But instead of calling user, we'll call it author with the type of user. Now we have to add the relation, which is the add sign, so the annotation. And now we have to reference the fields and references, similar to the fields here, where we had to specify the foreign key for our current model. So we'll specify as author ID will mention the author ID and the reference for the user itself that is the primary key. The next thing what we have to do is on the other side, similar what we have done with the address and address, but instead of making an one object because that's one to one relationship, we'll make it as an array. So it is it's fine. So what we will do is we will create something called books here and the type will be book. Now, instead of doing that just book itself, but what we will do is as an array. Now, because it's an array, it becomes a one-to-many relationship. That will be for the one-to-many relationship for the schema. So now let's update our database real quickly. So we'll say yarn prisma migrate and we'll call it uh, author, uh, author relation. In the next step, we, what we will be doing is we will handle the client generator. So we will interact with the books module here and update our service controller and route in order for creating and getting a list of books because we haven't done that before. So we will do that now. So before that, we'll just verify, we'll say on Prisma generate to generate the functions. So we'll say generate here, generate. Next step would be we'll go to our uh, service here and in the service what will be first importing is the prisma itself say so import and we'll mention here as usual we'll specify uh, the prisma so we'll say dot dot and it is coming from config and within the config okay actually just config itself and in here we'll specify the prisma itself now in book DTO, we'll go that here and we'll just say return and what we'll return is prisma uh, prisma dot book 
and in the book we'll be having create and in the create we'll mention data and that data will be particularly for the book detail so let me update the book detail here quickly instead of capital B we'll use B capital lowercase and we'll just copy and paste this we don't want to have any problem okay I want to update this one as well let's just update that really quickly so we have create book we have this function that is creating the book now next thing what we'll be doing is we'll go to our controller in the controller we'll be importing our service and that will be uh, from actually we'll do import all as books service and it is coming from uh, the book service itself now in here we'll say const new book and in the book we'll mention await book service so before that we have to say async and here book server create book and what we'll be pushing in is the body itself now next thing we'll just verify it as new book so do we have the new book itself and we will return that another thing to bear in mind is similar to what we have done in our previous uh, previous version in the user service where we have included to get the nested models so we want to uh, receive, receive the address as well as an object so in the book service so when we have created the book detail we will receive a response of uh, the book itself but in, we want to add as well we want to receive the user itself as well so what we'll do is uh, we'll use this parameter object actually we'll be having it here okay, let me. and in here we'll just say include and what we'll be including is the user itself and we'll say true it's not the same on book include okay what do we have in include author yes okay we need to mention author itself now that will be it here and in the router did we do we need to do anything else no we don't need to do anything else so now let's run it let's say yarn prisma dev actually not yarn prisma dev yarn mm, dev now we'll go to our thunder client so we'll use a new request and that group West, can I copy and paste that because it's quite a, okay so we'll use this but instead we'll use here we'll mention books and we'll be asking for post and in the post let's check our prisma uh, schema let me minimize this part and here we'll mention the title of the book and the title will be called uh something book <laughs> and my, there is no creativity here all right description um as usual we'll use lorem ipsum and what we will be doing is we'll be adding the author id instead of the author so you, we don't need to specify author when we are creating something so we'll just specify here and that will be one because we already have that person now what we'll do is we'll try it out and let's see if it works fine and yeah it worked fine but it didn't receive the response so what we'll do is fix it quickly but before that we'll go localhost 3000 and books and let's check what we'll receive here actually we never received anything that is unfortunate and i wonder what would be the reason here so we will go to our uh, book controller again in the book control oh yes okay we never returned new book so let's return that and that will be for creating the new book and yes we forgot the get books it has is missing as well so we'll do that now too so let's test that again we'll see if the new book works fine and we receive the response we'll use this one and we'll add the body and in the body instead of this user now we'll specify 
the author ID too. So now when we create, we'll receive a response and hopefully we are receiving the response. Oh, we didn't receive the response yet. Okay, let me do it again. What was the problem? So now let's run it again. Request. Oh, I think what would be the problem? We are getting the logs, but what is the problem? Ah, oh, so my bad. What I forgot is we have to say response to JSON and the response to JSON will have to specify a new book in itself. Now, hopefully it works fine. So now what we'll do is create for the author ID of four and that author ID will receive it. And yeah, voila, we received all of them. We should put, put uh, productionally, we don't want to showcase the password. But yeah, we received author, the author ID as well, description, title, and ID. So it works fine. The next part of this uh, uh, one-to-many relationship, what we need to do is we will get the users, get all the users. We will go to our books.service and in here we'll add the logic and get books. So what we'll do is we'll return the Prisma and book and then in here we'll say find many and we'll be using find many and in here what we'll be doing is we want to include our author here and the author will be called as true so that will be for get books and we will be going to our controller here book controller and in here what we'll be specifying as const const books and before that we'll mention as a sync and we'll say const book equals to await book service get books and there's nobody with that why is my tab 9 having that slight problem so we'll specify as return and in here before i forget response to json and we'll say books now we're receiving the results of the books and let's run it out i said run it out Wow, that's a bad English word, bad, bad English sentence. All right, local loss 3000, and let's check out books. And we received a response here. We received all the books ID, and they are all looking similar, but you could check out in the ID of the authors, and we received all of them fine. That will be it for the one-to-many relationship. In the next video, we are going to cover the many-to-many -many relationship between the category and books. That will be it. And yeah, thank you. Have a good day.